Okay. So today uh, we'll be talking about public goods. Uh, so we have already done externalities. Okay, so public goods is actually you know another type of externality. We have already discussed public goods when we discuss public good contribution game during the game theory static game lecture. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do today is uh, we'll discuss a general equilibrium model. Okay, of public goods. Okay, so if you recall, you know, a public good uh, is uh, a good, you know, which uh, satisfy these two properties that it's uh, non rival and it's uh, non excludable. Okay, okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, what is the simplest model of public good that we can think of? You know uh, the simplest model of public good uh, you know that we can think of right now you know so that we can use graphs basically to uh, analyze uh, you know uh, uh, efficient outcomes and uh, figure out uh, competitive equilibrium and uh, you know uh, related concepts okay so the simplest model is you know uh, in which there is there are two consumers okay so why do we need two consumers because you know if you don't have if you have just one consumer then you know there is no difference between a public good and a private good because it's, it's just one person you know so uh, uh, so you need at least two people you know to to call it a public good okay so you need public okay uh, let's call them one and two okay and uh, two goods okay what are the two goods well one is a private good and the other is a public good okay so one private good okay let's call this uh, private good x and let's call the public good g okay so g is the public good x is the private good is that fine okay so two consumers two goods okay and uh, uh, consumers utility function uh, is given in this way that uh, utility of individual one is a function of the amount of private good he consumes and the amount of public good he consumes okay so x1 denotes the amount of private good consumed by individual one and uh, g denotes amount of public good consumed by individual one okay and similarly u2 is a function of the amount of private good consumed by individual two and the public good consumed by individual two. is that okay u1 x1g and u2 x2g is that fine okay so um, now once you have this we also need uh, you know because it's it's a it's a general equilibrium setup okay uh, we'll need uh, you know what is the endowment what what do the individuals have initially okay so we are going to say that initially there is no public good in this economy there is only private good of course you can relax this assumption it's not such a uh, problem okay but you know let's just start with uh, this very simple assumption where uh, where only uh, you know individuals only have some amount of private good okay there is no endowment of public good in this economy okay so let omega 1 denotes the endowment of endowment of individual 1 of private good okay and uh, similarly uh, omega 2 denotes the endowment of individual 2 of the private good is that okay so we have the utility functions we have the endowments okay and uh, one more thing that we'll be needing is how is public good produced okay uh, so uh, there is some way in which you can convert private good into public good so there is some technology available in this economy that can convert private good into public good okay so uh, so that's basically your uh, you know the production function okay so g is equal to f of x is the production function okay uh, and uh, x is basically the input and public good is output so x is private good private good is the input public good is output is that okay clear to everyone so basically this private good in this economy has 
uh, two uses. You know, one, it is used as an input in the production of public good. The other is that it is, uh, you know, consumed by uh, by the individuals. Okay, so it has a, a, a you know direct consumption use as well as uh, you know intermediate input use. Okay, in the production of public good. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, uh, you know when we'll be talking about let's say competitive equilibrium, uh, you know we'll also be needing you know exactly uh, you know how much of this firm that owns this production function is owned by consumer one and consumer two. Okay, so there are, there is some ownership. Okay, so ownership uh, is given by ownership of the firm. that produces a public good is given by theta 1 theta 2 okay theta 1 is the share of individual 1 in the in the firm in the firm okay and theta 2 is uh, the share of individual 2 in the firm okay so theta i is i's share okay okay uh, so I'm going to normalize the total share to one. So what that means is theta one and theta two are both non-negative and sum to one. Okay. So theta one plus theta two equals one. Is that okay? So let's say if theta one is uh, 0.7, that means individual one owns 70% of the firm. If theta two is 0.3, then that means uh, individual two owns 30% of the firm. Okay. So basically, you know, it's a private ownership. Uh, uh, economy where uh, where uh, this this uh, firm that produces pu public good is owned by you know uh, private individuals is that is that clear okay uh, and also uh, you know whenever we'll be talking about competitive equilibrium we'll be assuming that uh, you know these firms uh, you know even if there is a single firm you know single firm will be a price taker okay even the consumers are going to be price takers okay okay so i think that's pretty much it uh, you know that describes the complete uh, uh, environment okay uh, so now we can proceed and uh, talk about questions like what is feasible in this economy you know how to how to uh, represent the set of all feasible allocations uh, in a graph and uh, you know what is competitive equilibrium in this economy you know so uh, we can talk about those kind of questions now is is that clear okay